we're at Magnolia Gardens here in uh, outside of Charleston, South Carolina, one of our favorite venues on earth, and it's um, it's tremendous. Uh, this is one of our favorite shots. It's called Oak Lane as you drive into it, and um, yeah, the color is patchy as it is every spring. Some areas are more colorful than others, and things colors kind of overlap. Um, this is, isn't a particularly colorful area right now, although it will be next week. Uh, so we'll shoot here, and, and the good thing about this area is that even if it's not colorful with azalea, it's green, which is like uh, great for infrared. So we'll do that. We'll shoot a straight infrared shot with the D200 and then put on a soft focus filter, and then we'll blend those two together in software. Right now the light's very even, and let's, um, let's take a shot and see what happens. The camera's on timer. And we're filling the frame uh, with as much of that gnarly tree as we can. And we're going to press that button and wait a couple seconds for it to trigger. Okay. Let's see what we have. It's going to write pretty quick. Here we go. That's good exposure and composition's fine. Let me see. That's good. And I'm going to drop on a, a soft focus filter, which is great with infrared. This is the uh, Singray soft ray filter. See that? And this will give it more of um, that infrared glow that, for those of you who have shot infrared in the past with film, you can overdevelop it to get that glow kind of a look. And you can get that to an extent with, um, with this filter. Three second exposure at F22 at ISO 100. Okay, I think these will go together extremely well. Yeah, that's not bad. There's much more color in different parts of the of, of Magnolia Gardens, and we're going to seek that out right now and move on.